Hey everybody, Negro VMX here, and it's time for part two of the Mick Jugger Nuggets expose series, where we're going to give you well over a hundred reasons why Mick Jugger Nuggets videos, the Psycho series, and pretty much all his stuff is fake. I just wanted to take the time to thank you all for the response my first video got. Um, I haven't gotten that many views on a video in like a while, and you know, it may not be a lot compared to, oh, I don't know, we'll say Mick Jugger Nuggets, but it was nice to see. Uh, that people were coming to the video and were watching it. I got a lot of great comments. A lot of you hit me up on Skype and Facebook and uh, Steam and, you know, a few other people uh, that I know personally texted me and told me how much they loved the video and, and uh, why they thought it was a good thing. And yes, I did get a couple of juggies that came by and uh, they weren't too pleased. Uh, they didn't watch the video. That's basically what I got out of my interactions with them. They didn't actually watch the video. They, In their heads, they, they know he's real, so they don't need to watch the video. And really, that's just willful ignorance, and I'm trying to talk them out of it. I want to ask you guys in the comment section, if you see the Juggies come by, even if they come by and they're being insulting, and they're just saying, you know, shut up seems to me the most popular thing to say. They just come by and say, shut up. They tell me to shut up. Tell me I'm jealous. I'm not jealous of anybody. I mean, okay, maybe whoever gets to touch Jennifer Lawrence, but other than that, I'm not jealous. Um, <laughs> that was a joke, by the way. Um, but really, like I said, I'm not jealous. I'm not looking for a lot of subscribers like McJugger Nuggets has. I'm looking to help children. And if they don't want to be helped, I can't help them. But I'm hoping that this, these videos, this series will help other people. So if you see the juggies in the comments, and even if they're being insulting, they're saying shut up or fuck you, you know, or whatever it is the kids say these days, please um, don't try to rush to my defense. Don't insult them. Talk to, if you want to talk to them, talk to them reasonably. Be nice. They are children. And um, I think that if we're a little bit open and we're a little bit kinder about this whole thing, and uh, maybe they'll be more willing to hear what we have to say. So anyway, let's move on with the next 25. So we're going to go uh, numbers 26 through 50 on my list here of reasons McJugger Nuggets is fake. And yes, I know not all of these reasons are definitive proof. I said that in the first video, but I wanted to bring up it again. Some of these are just observations. Some of them are definitive proof. But when you take it all together as a whole, there's really no doubt. There should be no doubt in your mind that they are indeed fake. So let's continue. So in the last video, we left off and we're still talking about the video Psycho Dad Acts His Laptop. We're going to continue to talk about that one. Number 26. Now, I know that I already pointed out a bunch of evidence that the room that they go into that is supposedly Jeffrey's room is not actually Jeffrey's room, but it's Jesse's room. But there's so much evidence. I didn't want to count every piece of evidence as being a separate number, but... Here's, this, here's another piece of evidence. Here's some more. We see the same couch that Jeffrey burned to spite Jesse in a later video. We see an Xbox 360 in several games, and it was established later on that Jeffrey owns PlayStation 3, and he's not into Xbox at all. Jesse also claims that he wants the laptop to talk to a girl online. Jeffrey doesn't bring up the fact that Jesse is already has a girlfriend. He's in a committed relationship with Juliet. He doesn't think that's strange or mention anything. And she had already appeared on the channel in the My Graduation Song video. Also, another reason that they use this room, it's probably for the strategic shot of Jeff Sr., a.k.a. Psycho Dad, out the window chopping wood. Jesse was able to come right in. There's the mirror turn right to the left, and you can see his dad. And he did make a point to swoop the camera in that direction to show that his dad was outside. Number 27. Furthermore, it is obvious... Well, not maybe obvious, but obvious to me because I scrutinized it that this laptop doesn't actually belong to Jeffrey. You can see icons on it. If you go into HD, you pause the video, you can see an icon for XSplit, which is a video editing software. It's made to split up videos into several parts. There's a picture file, which is simply labeled Halo 4. Halo is Jesse's favorite game series. He plays on Xbox. Jeffrey plays on PlayStation. He doesn't really know much about Halo. He wouldn't have a picture called Halo 4 on his desktop. Probably the Halo 4 picture was probably Jesse's wallpaper, and he switched it to the big-breasted woman so he can make a derogatory comment about the wallpaper. Also, you can see XSplit Broadcaster, which is a program that is used for live streaming. Jesse is the one that does live streaming. Jeffrey has only recently gotten into as of uh, late 2015, gotten into live streaming, and he claimed that he had never done it before, and he really didn't know how to, 
which is why he went to Jesse and Corn for help and trying to figure out how to set it up and everything. So if this is Jeffrey's laptop, why does he have XSplit Broadcaster, which its only purpose is to broadcast to sites like Twitch? And there is a picture of Corn on the desktop labeled Corn Brawn. Uh, Jeffrey would not have a picture of Corn on his computer at all, much less sitting right there on the desktop. Lastly, there's a PDF icon, which is labeled Resume. Now, this is at a point where Jesse was supposedly looking for a job, but Jeffrey already had a job as an accountant, so I can only conclude that there is no way this laptop belonged to Jeffrey. This particular video is so sloppy, and it's a wonder that anybody believed that this is real at all. Number 28. Here's a great one that I don't think anyone has ever noticed. So Jesse opens up Firefox on the laptop and he starts typing. Now he's careful to not show what he types. He keeps the camera low, but it's clearly YouTube because that's where he winds up. However, if you pause the video where his history dropdown is briefly visible with all the autocomplete suggestions, you can see a YouTube video URL that ends with original video all in caps and in parentheses. That sounded kind of familiar to me. So what I did is I played the video in HD, I paused it at a point where I can actually read the video ID code, or at least part of it, and I popped the video ID code into Google. What came up? A video from the Greatest Freak Out Ever series by Wafflepone. That's a series of also obviously scripted freakout videos, which heavily inspired the Psycho series. The most obvious being the themes of breaking expensive things, and Jesse tends to take off his shirt during videos, like Steven does in the Greatest Freak Out Ever series. Up until this point, Jesse had not emulated Steven by taking off his shirt, but he would start doing it a lot in the future, starting in this video. It stands to reason that Jesse was doing a little research on viral videos that he wanted to copy. Number 29, and this is a big one. Jesse goes to YouTube and he says, There's my brother's account, as he types something into the search bar. He is careful not to film it, but with the autocorrect search suggestions, you can see he's typing McJuggernuggets, and that's exactly where he winds up at his own channel. But yet he's claiming that it's his brother's account. Enough people had to have noticed this because he later changed his story to saying that he owned the McJuggernuggets account and his brother uploads to it. Why would he let him? He says the videos get good views. But in this video, he clearly navigates himself to McJuggernuggets on YouTube and says that it's Jeffrey's account. Liar can't keep story straight. Story at 11. Number 30. If you pause the video at around 1 minute 58 seconds, you can see the search results at the time for McJuggernuggets, which Jesse clicks on Psycho Dad Destroys Xbox. However, you can also see the link directly to the channel, which has the name of Jesse's production studio, Rigid Studios, as the channel icon, as well as skits that Jesse uploaded with the channel name displayed. Jesse, you are not a good liar. Number 31. Jesse then starts the video when he acts surprised that there are ads on it, acting shocked that his brother would monetize a video of him getting his Xbox broken. This is despite the fact that the video is on his channel, and at that point in time had over 2 million views, he had already made money off of the video. How could he have not known that there were ads on it? Number 32. Remember when I pointed out that Jesse had obviously been researching Waffle Pwn and would imitate him by starting to take his shirt off? Well, it starts in this very video, as I mentioned. During the entire video, Jesse's wearing a black Mario Brothers t-shirt, but when his brother starts chasing him at the end, between the time that he ran through the living room and the few seconds later that you can see him running away through the window as his dad films, you can see he's lost his shirt. Quite impressively, in the span of like three seconds, which is very similar to what Wafflepone does, they have Steven take off his shirt extremely quickly. Number 33. In Psycho Brother Clip's head, Jesse's taking a nap in the basement on a couch, despite the fact that he has a bed and he has a couch in his room. Why? So that his brother could sneak up on him for the video, of course. Number 34. I'd also like to mention that Jeffrey begins the video in his room, which is connected to the kitchen, not the room that he was in the previous video, which, as I pointed out, was actually Jesse's room. That didn't last very long. Number 35. Now, this is easy to miss, and it helps if you put the captions on, but while Jesse is whining to his dad about his brother clipping part of his hair off, he says... How am I going to get a girlfriend now? 
despite the fact that his girlfriend Juliet has been featured in several videos at this point, including Finally Home, a video uploaded only four days prior. Obviously, Jesse had not yet decided whether or not to include his girlfriend in this series playing herself and was keeping his actual self and his psycho kid self separate. I'm willing to even bet that at this time, due to the numerous issues with these videos being obviously fake, he uploaded them without any real claim to them being real, and only started to claim them as being real after Psycho Dad Shred's video games went viral later on. Number 36. I also have to point out that his mother coming out of nowhere at the end of the video and yelling about how she's sick and tired of all this is either foreshadowing to the eventual divorce storyline that played out later, or it's an obvious ripoff of Waffle Pone, where the mother plays the same exact role. Either way, fake as shit. But I'm gearing more towards the latter, especially as how many of Waffle Pone's videos end with the mother covering the camera lens while yelling at Jack not to film. In this video, the mother, Terry, does the same exact thing to Jeffrey. Number 37. Psycho Dad Shreds Video Games is next, which launched the channel to huge popularity. However, I want to mention something. This video was uploaded only a single day after the skit Disney Songs in Real Life, in which Jesse and his friend Paul play a couple who comes out as gay, set to various Disney references. Both of Jesse's parents act in this video. The very next day, the Psycho video comes out, in which Jeff Sr. runs over the Xbox games with a riding mower, claiming that Jesse had done nothing for weeks but sit in his room and play video games and was not looking for a job. Well, obviously, he was doing a lot more than playing games in his room, he was filming Disney songs video along with his dad who acted in it. Number 38. In the beginning of the video, Jeffrey films coming towards Jesse's room, which is by the way the same room with the same layout, same poster, same stupid outwards facing mirror as when it was supposedly Jeffrey's room. At this point, you either have to admit that they faked the whole thing or that for some reason the brothers switched rooms but Jesse kept the layout exactly the same as Jeffrey had it, which include framed pictures from Jesse's YouTube series. Weird. Number 39. We start off with Jesse then freaking out because all of his games are missing. However, what we see are a bunch of empty cases, suggesting that his dad took out all the discs but left the cases. Later, though, we would see that the mess that gets mowed over was mostly game cases and only a few discs. So why would he take the time to remove the discs from the cases for some games, but for others he would only take the cases? On top of this is the fact that many of the cases that got moved were empty with discs lying around loose, which means that he removed discs, took them, took some of the cases, but left a bunch in Jesse's room for him to find. Number 40. After Jesse leaves the room, we see that his dad left a message for him on the whiteboard, and then it immediately goes to outside, where Jeff is waiting on his mower with the pile of games. So, how long was he waiting there? I mean, what if instead of looking for a game to play, Jesse took a nap, or watched TV, or went and took a huge manly shit? How long would he have been sitting on the mower waiting for Jesse to come out and witness it? Obviously, the entire thing was set up for good pacing, but it doesn't hold up to real-life scrutiny. Number 41. So Jeff seems upset that his son has been out of school for three months and he hasn't found a job. This one actually holds up. The video was uploaded almost exactly three months after the graduation song video. But if he's so concerned about Jesse's inability to get a job, why appear in Disney song parody videos with him that obviously took many days to film? Number 42. Jesse screams that gaming is going to be his job because he's really good at it. I have a really, really hard time believing that he would say this as anything other than a character who is supposed to be pathetic. Despite the fact that he claimed to have once been a professional gamer, he has a rather famous YouTube channel, but he maintains a separate gaming channel, or at least now he does. The Rigid Gaming channel did not even exist when this was uploaded, and any Twitch partner will tell you that you make barely any money from Twitch partnerships. The majority of Twitch partners upload their live streams to YouTube for additional revenue, yet Jesse never uploads his Twitch videos to YouTube, and when he does put up gaming videos, it's on a channel with a much smaller following. So, how is gaming going to be his job if he gave up on playing games competitively and focuses more on his vlogging than his gaming channel? It's just not believable other than the whole haha, 
look at this stupid whiny kid, laugh factor. But everything that we've seen from the channel has shown that his real passion is making YouTube shows like the Psycho series. The whole gaming is my life thing is part of his character in this series. Number 43. I have to bring up the captions. Who writes the captions? There are many captions that make fun of Jeffrey, who is supposedly uploading the Psycho videos. That would suggest that Jesse writes them. For example, when Jeffrey laughs, you'll see a caption that says something like evil laughter or childish giggling. However, in this video, you also see captions making fun of Jesse's crazy screams and mating call after the games are mowed over. So, uh, if we're to believe that this is real, which one of them are adding captions that make fun of themselves? Number 44. So, for some reason, after getting all of his games shredded, he uploads a nine-minute video of puppies. Whatever. But after that comes the real treat. He unleashes the outtakes from the Disney Songs in Real Life video. And at around eight minutes in is a very telling outtake, where his dad delivers a line with a bit too much intensity, and Jesse, who is the director, says, Whoa, too much. What is this, Player 2? Referencing the series The Game, which Jeff had appeared in. Jeff Sr. answers, Psycho Dad, directly referencing Psycho Dad as a character that he plays in another series. However, much later in the Psycho series, while in character, Jeff will react angrily and even violently if someone calls him Psycho Dad. So, as the character, he hates being called Psycho Dad, but here he is obviously out of character and makes an offhand reference to acting as the Psycho Dad. Number 45. In Psycho Kid Smashes TV, it starts with Jeffrey catching Jesse and his friend Buzz playing a Game Boy Advance when Jesse is supposedly grounded from video games. Not even getting into the silliness of the situation, Jeffrey enters the basement den opposite from the stairs, meaning that he did not come from upstairs, meaning that Jesse was sneakily playing the game while his brother is in the other room, which kind of seems unlikely, especially considering how sneaky he's trying to be about it, or that Jeffrey entered from the outside entrance to the basement, which we've seen in a couple of other videos, and that would have made enough noise to alert Jesse that somebody was coming. Number 46. Now, let's talk about the actual TV that is broken in this video. This is supposedly the same TV that Jesse was playing Xbox on in the original Psycho video, which his dad is deeply protective over, and in this video he claims that he loves it more than his own son. However, it is not the same TV. If you look at it, you can see that it's considerably thicker and therefore older and cheaper than the thin flat screen that we've seen previously. So we're supposed to believe that either Jeff Sr. decided on a downgrade of his television for some reason, or they put a cheaper TV there specifically to be broken. Number 47. At the end of this video, Jesse leaves with his friend Buzz, whose truck is mysteriously parked right outside the front door where they come out, rather than in the huge parking area that they have, which you could see in the video where Jesse's camera got broken. He was clearly parked there just for the video. Number 48. In Welcome to Rigid Studios, the video that used to serve as Jesse's channel trailer, he says outright that the Psycho videos are real, which satisfied the not very discriminating younger fanbase. But this is directly after he calls it a series, says that this is his channel, and that he does in fact upload those videos. This is in direct conflict with him having previously claimed the channel belonged to his brother, and then claims that it was his channel, but that his brother uploaded the Psycho videos. And you know, the other 47 things I pointed out. I wondered if I could even come up with a hundred of these at first, but now I'm thinking the final count is going to be a lot more. Number 49. In Psycho Dad Drowns Xbox, we see that Jesse is still grounded, but is now secretly playing video games in the garage, which he calls the Morton Building because he's an asshole. Anyway, Jeffrey finds out, sets up a hidden camera, and alerts the dad who throws the Xbox into the pool. There are several issues with this. While you can hear the game audio and briefly see the display on the television, as Jeffrey moves into the garage, you can clearly see the Xbox 360 sitting on a little table next to the TV. And if you pause the video, you can see that the Xbox is not even turned on. It does not have the green power indicator, nor does it have any indicator for any controllers syncing with it. So, magic, right? Actually, 
What I think happened, and it's fairly obvious that Jesse set it up with a second Xbox probably hidden away from view, while the older Xbox, probably even the same one that was already broken and probably cosmetically repaired, was sitting out in the open for his dad to grab and throw it into the pool. Number 50. The next Psycho video is Psycho Dad Rex Car, which is pretty infamously faked. But before I talk about that, I have to talk about the video Mick Jugger Nuggets Needs You. This video was actually deleted from Jesse's channel, but has been saved and re-uploaded on other channels. It contains a montage of the other videos with voiceover from Jesse basically begging his fans for support. This video is infamous for the very first clip in which a tree is seen falling on his car. Not his actual car, the big car that they got to destroy, while Jesse screams. Anyway, the tree clearly lands behind the car rather than on it. This cuts directly to footage from Psycho Dad Rex's car, which shows his dad throwing the axe box through the back window. So, what was the footage with the tree? It's not viewable in any of his videos, and no full video seems to exist. The theory that I posit is that he wanted to do a video about a tree falling onto his car. Perhaps his dad causes this by cutting down the tree. But it either didn't look real enough, or he had a better idea to have his dad smash the car with an Xbox and a baseball bat. This would explain why the montage was deleted off of his channel, as it contained footage from an alternate Psycho video that never got uploaded. 